following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded November 10, 1973, in New Delhi, India. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your coming here, taking so much trouble to participate in this Krishna Consciousness movement. And I shall simply try to draw your attention about the importance of this movement. Importance of this movement is this, that we do not know what is the aim of life. The modern civilization all over the world, especially in the Western world, and nobody knows what is the actual problem and what is the aim of life. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita says the real problem is janma mittu jaradvadhi dukha dosanu darsana. That but death old age and disease. These are the problems. If you take birth, then you have to die. Uh, anyone who takes birth, he must have to die. And uh, so long, between birth and death, there is old age and disease. Actually, these are the problems. So far, we are concerned, living entities, every one of us. That is, describing the Bhagavad Gita, na jayate namriyate vāpadāci. The living entity is never born, never dies. Nita sāsatmaya turāna na hannate hannamāne sarīre. The living entity is eternal ever existed and very old. And na hannate hannamāne sarīre does not die after the annihilation of this body. But the modern civilization, they are thinking that this body, we have got somehow or other a lump of matter, and so long we have got this body, let us enjoy sense gratification. This is atheistic theory. In our country, there were atheists also, just like Charvatmi. According to his philosophy, he said, Rinam Krita Dhritam Krivet. Because in our country, India, <coughs> life is enjoyable when we get uh, to eat too much ghee. Is it? Pakki khana. That is enjoyable. Just like in Western countries, if they can eat, if they can drink more, and that is life in there, in our country, of course. So Rīnam Kṛtta Kṛtam If somebody says that I have no money, the Chārvāk Muni says that you take a loan from your friend and purchase ghee and enjoy it. Rīnam Kṛtta Kṛtam Kṛve, jāvat jīve sukham jīve. So long you live, live happy. Why? Man, big borrow still. And leave him. No, I shall be responsible. I shall have to pay next life. Chagvat when he says, no, no, don't bother about next life. Bhasmi bhuta sa deha sa kuta kumara adamana bhavet. Your body will be born in the crematorium that finished. That's all. This foolishness is there. That 
this life, we do not know that this human form of life we have got by the evolutionary process going through so many lives. Just like in our present life we can understand that I have come to this body, old body, through child's body, boy's body, youth's body, uh, in this way. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. It is not manufactured. Dehi nasmin tatha dehi kumara jaubanan jara tatha dehantara prati bhiyas tatunami. We have to accept this. Dehantara prati. From one body to another. What is my childhood born? That is gone. What is my boyhood born? That is gone. Where is my youthful body? That is gone. Not for not only for me, for everyone. Then past, present and future. Similarly, when this body will be gone, I will get another body. Where is the difficulty to understand? Tathadehantara prati bhirastatanami. Zero. Because we are not sober. There are two classes of men, bhiro and adhiro. Dhiro means sober, thinking, thoughtful. And adhiro means restless. So, with restless brain, it is difficult. But if you have got sober brain, then there is no difficulty to understand that I am eternal. I was in the child's body. I was in the baby's body. I was in the boy's body. I was in a long man's body. Now I have got a different body. I am living asmin dehe, dehi nasmin jatha dehe. It is very easy to understand. But Krishna says, bhīrastatana mīyati. Those who are sober, they can't understand. So people cannot understand. That means the modern civilization is not sober. It is just like cats and dogs. You cannot make a cat and dog so bad to understand the philosophy of life. They have degraded so much. Ah. That is described in the Shastra. Jashatma buddhi kunapeti dhatuke atma buddhi. Thinking I am this what? I am American. I am Indian. I am Brahma. I am black, I am white, I am fat, I am thin, I am this. No, no. You are not this body at all. That is knowledge. That is knowledge. Knowledge begins when you understand that you are not this body. That is the beginning of knowledge. Otherwise, I am this body, this knowledge is there in the cats and dogs also. The dog also jumping because he is thinking I am very... Nice dog, a nice cat. So, Sastra therefore says, Jasyatma buddhi kunapay tridhatake. This body is a bag of three elements, kapha pitta bhaiva, according to Ayurveda system. This physiological condition, anatomical condition of this body is made of kapha pitta bhaiva. So it is a bag of kapapitta bayu or flesh, bones, blood, urine, stool, cup, and mucus. If you yeah, dissect this body, you will find. Do you mean to say combination of these things can make a light, so nice brain? If you are so competent, then take these ingredients. Bones, flesh, they are easily available in the slaughterhouse. Make a good brain. But that is not possible. They simply speak, but it is not possible. Therefore, the, this body is not the moving spirit soul. That is different. Therefore, Shastra says, Jasyatu buddhi kunape tithatuke sadhik kalatra visubhoma yajyati. And as soon as you take this body, that I am this body, then in body relation, because a woman has got body relation, she is my wife, and the children born out of the womb of that woman, that is my children. 
सभी कलत्रादिषु जो साप बुद्धि कुलपेति धातु के सभी कलत्रादिषु भौम इज्जति भौम मिस इन लैंड वेर यू लीव और वेर दिस बॉडी इज प्रोड्यूस दैट इज वॉर्सिबल दैट इज कॉल नेशनल भौम इज्जति जो साप बुद्धि कुलपेति धातु के सभी कलत्रादिषु भौम इज्जति जो तीर्थ बुद्धि शरीर न कर एंड तीर्थ होली प्लेस देस लाइक पीपल गो टू वृंदावन हरिद्वार सलीले दे टेक बाथ इन दैंडियस एंड जमुना एंड दे थिंक दैट नाउ यू आर फिनिश्ड आवर तीर्थ नो तीर्थ इज नॉट दैट तीर्थ मीन्स यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो आर पर्सन टू टेक इन स्ट्रेशन फ्रॉम so people who are not interested to the sober man and lives like this that i am this body and the bodily uh, uh, productions a relation they are my own man and if i go to holy place take bath and then come back no sat says no jatitha buddhi shalile na karhi te janesu abhigyesu he must approach abhigya pars that is the meaning of pilgrimage That the Veda says, "But we cannot from so Guru Meva we get say, 'So Sutram Brahmanista, we must find out a sober man, a guru, so that he can instruct you, uh, he can deliver you from ignorance of life.' Uh, so you find in this Bhagavad Gita when there was talks going on between Arjun and Krishna." Friendly talks. Arjun was speaking. Let them enjoy this kingdom. I don't want to fight with my own men. That was his decision. Ah, Arjun, Krishna said, No, no, this is not your duty. You are a khatriya. Ah, now you are in the battlefield. You must fight. In this way, ordinary topics were going on. But when Arjun saw it, it was difficult to understand whether I shall. Fight or not fight, he accepted Krishna as guru uh, because he thought that friendly talks will not make solution. Let me accept Krishna as my. She says to him, "Sadhimam prapannam prapannam I surrender. You are my guru. Now I, you are not my friend. You are my guru because uh, a disciple cannot disobey me. A friend can disobey." Krishna was asking to fight, and a friend he was disobeying. But if the guru says that he must fight, then he cannot do that. Therefore, he accepted Shishas Priya, Sadhimana Prapanna. So, actually, we are all in the ignorance. The same formula: Jasya Bhuvdi Kumakri Tithatu Ki Sadikalatra Disu Homo Injudi. जब तीर्थ बुद्धि शरीर न कर जनेशु अभिज्ञेशु सायब गोखर गोखर गो मीन्स का एंड खर मीन्स एह दिस इज दर्डिक ऑफ दि शास्त्र दट इफ एनी मन इज इन दि बॉडिली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ ही इज नो बेटर दैन दि एनिमल गो एंड खर एस एंड का सो दिस इग्नोर When this ignorance prevails, that is called dharma sabdhani bhavati bharata. Uh, Krishna says, "Jada jada hi dharma sabdhani bhavata bharata." When people have become like cats and dogs, the bodily concept of life and working whole day and night uh, without any spiritual understanding, without the aim of life, so this human life is not meant for that purpose. Uh, this is the mistake. Uh, it is not that the, the dogs and cats are eating in a different way. Now we eat in a nice table, a nice plate, and are very nicely dressed, and we are eating. But the eating process is there. Either you nicely eat or wrongly eat, but you have to fulfill your bell and satisfy your hunger. That is not advancement of civilization. Ah, to eat nicely, to sleep nicely, to defend nicely, and to have sexual life nicely. 
That is not advancement of civilization. Ahara Vidra Vayavai Sudancha. Samarvametat Pasuhi Narana. Sexual intercourse with beautiful women and sexual intercourse with the female dog, the pleasure is the same. That is not advancement of civilization. Advancement of civilization is Atmatattam. Atmatattam. That is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Apasyatam Atmatattam Griheshu Griyamedina. Srutubhyadini Rajendra. Maharaj Parikhi asked Sudhir Goswami, Now I am going to die. What is my duty? What I shall hear from? So at that time, Purikit Maharaj, yes, Sudhir Goswami said, My dear king, Sotubhadini Nidam Santi Sahasar, Apasatamatatam Grihesu Grihame Dinam. Then those who are Grihame Dhi, Grihame Dhi means has met the home, country, society, family, as the only means of advancement. They are called Grihamedhi. But there is another word, what is called Grihastha Ashram. Ashram. Brahmachari Ashram. Grihastha Ashram. Vanaprastha Ashram. Sanyas Ashram. Ashram, as soon as any common man can understand, as soon as we say Ashram, there is some spiritual idea. Asa, here is the Asa. So Griha Asam is different and Griha Medhi is different. Griha Medhi means one who does not know what is the ultimate goal of life and living like cats and dogs also, they live with their children and wife, they also find out food, they also try to defend, protect, simply with these ideas which we live. That is called Griha Medhi. Therefore, our Vedanta Sutra is there to give enlightenment. And our student, Srimad Pradyumna, that's what the guy is saying. Athata Brahma Vidyasa, this life is not meant for wasting time like cats and dogs, because after all, we have to give up this life. But before giving up this life, we must gain something. That is this kind of Upanishad. Etat Vidityaja Prayati Sa Brahmana. We will have to die like cats and dogs, but we have got the chance to understand what is the value of life. The cats and dogs have, have no chance. See, simply, if we waste our time like cats and dogs and do not know what is the aim of life, we say, Kripana, Etat Vidityaja Prayati, Avidityāja prāyāti sa kripana. There are two things, brāmhara and kripana. Kripana means miser. A person who bought this valuable body, that's why if you get millions of dollars, if you do not utilize it, if you simply see in the treasury that you have got so much money, then you are kripana. It is practical. But if you utilize that money, and in stock, one crore in that, ten crores, then you are called intellect. Similarly, if we think that I have got this human form of life, a ah, better standard of eating, sleeping, and mating, then you remain people. You could not eat life. But if you know in this life which is possible, what is the value of this life, what is Brahma, what I, what I am, what is my connection with Brahma, why I have come here, where, where I shall go again, why I am put into the miserable condition of life, I do not wish to die, why death is enforced upon me, this is called brahma jiggyasa Enquiry, why? Therefore there is a keno punishment, why? Unless this why enquiry comes in the human body, then he is very old. Parāvavastāvadavodajāta Javanna Dhigyāsato Ātma Tattam. Whatever you are doing, you are being defeated. Because you are doing everything in ignorance. And this body, this is my country, 
This is my kinsman. And in this way, uh, I died like cats and dogs. Uh, so, uh, Krishna says, Jadadadahi dharma sagyani bhavati dharata. Aputhara uh, adharmas. Adharmas. What is that dharma? Uh, Krishna says, Puritrana sadhana vinasaya cha duskita. Uh, dharma samasthapana thaya juve juve samabhani. So what is that dharma? Dharma, it is said, dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Dharma, the simple description of dharma is the codes which are given by God. It doesn't matter whether you are Hindu, Muslim or Christian or any, anyone, any civilized man has got some religion. See, because dharma na hi na bhusini samana. If you have to go, no religion. It doesn't matter whether Hindu religion or Muslim religion. You must have some religion. Religion means to understand God. That is religion. Religion does not mean I manufacture something. No, you cannot manufacture me. Ah. Religion means that you cannot manufacture laws. Law is given by the state, by the government. Similarly, religion means the course, the order given by God. Therefore, we must know what is God, what is His order, and how to carry out it. Then you will be successful. Your life is successful. Otherwise, uh, just like the cats and dogs, they do not know how to carry out the laws of the state. Of course, they are excused. Ah, they, they keep to the right, keep to the left. The cats and dogs, they can violate. Law is not meant for the cats and dogs. Law is meant for the human being. Ah. Therefore, the cats and dogs, if they violate the courts of God, the law of God, they can be excused because they are animals. But a, a human being, he has got the developed consciousness if he does not utilize this body for understanding what is God, what I am, what is my relationship with God, how to act, where from I have come, where to go. There are so many questions. That is called Brahma Dignasa. Kathāta ah, Brahma Dignasa. Ah, this life is meant for Brahma Dignasa. Ah. Now, where to Dignasa? That is also Vedic Indiana. Tad Vijjana Thamsa Guru Meva Abhijatche. Tad Vijjana, if you want to understand that transcendental science, one must have to go to the bona fide Guru. And who is Guru? Guru is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. And anyone who represents that Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is Guru. Guru means representative of Guru, as God. Therefore, according to Vedic Shastra, Guru is worshipped like God. Uh, this is just like my disciples, they have given this seat and almost equally with God's seat. That is in them, Jasya Prasada Bhagavad Prasada. Guru should be worshipped as God. But Guru will never claim that he is God. That is not Guru. Guru will always claim that he is servant of God. Uh, because the Shishya worship him, and Shishya, Guru does not say that you simply worship me. He, uh, he, he directs that you worship God. But because one gets God's connection through Guru, Therefore, Guru is worshipped as God. Just like in our country, there was Bhaisra. Uh, he was given the same respect as the king because he is representative of the royal representative. Similarly, Shastra says, Sakshadharitte na samastha shastra rukta sthathabha vataeva sadhi kintu prabhurja priyaeva tasya vande gurasri charanarannam. This is the Offering of business to Guru. Guru is described as respect, respectable as the Supreme Personality of God. Acharya Vijarya, the Supreme Personality of God, that Acharya should be accepted 
and I, and in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Acharyupasanam, Acharyupasanam. So therefore, we have to receive the knowledge in the disciplic success of Acharya. That is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Evam parampara praptam imam rajarsa yogudu. Rajarsa, these knowledge, they were uh, understood by the Rajarsi. Rajarsi means king at the same time saintly person, not the king and robber. Dasudhar, simply exacting taxes. Come on, give me tax. And you go to hell. That is not king. That is not government. It is government's duty to make. The government should be Krishna conscious. And it is government's duty to see that everyone is Krishna conscious or God conscious. You say Krishna or God, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you think that let the people go to hell, it doesn't matter. Bring taxes uh, and let us enjoy and you go to hell. Uh, it is very horrible condition. Uh, so everywhere this is going on, therefore there is necessity of awakening this God-consciousness of the people. It is not a childish thing or sentimental fanaticism. It is real science, because this human life is meant for understanding what I am. Aham Brahmasmi. I am not this body. I am spirit soul. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasuchati Natantati. If you can educate people to become Brahma Bhuta, then prasannātmā, he becomes happy, jolly. Uh, just like these American boys, American girls, they were many, many times in better condition of life. Now they are uh, wondering with me, what can I give them? I cannot give them nice food. I cannot give them nice shelter. Neither have money. Uh, they are coming, they are all rich men's sons, uh, but they are after me. Why? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. They have got something. They are feeling of life. That's uh, Bhakti, Bhakti Vedanta Sami has given us something. That is, therefore they are after me. So this is the Brahma Kanda, Brahma Bhuta Atma. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. That is the sign. Uh, I have become Brahma. I have become Narayan. Uh, no. If you are prasanna, if you are always joyful, then it is to be understood that you have realized Brahma. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. No sochati, no kāntati. Uh, there is no sochana here in the material world. I have got something. If I lose it, I cry. I have lost. I have lost. And if I do not possess, then kāṁsati, I must get it, I must. These two businesses are going. But when you become brahma bhuta prasannātmā, these two things will go out. No kāṁsati, no sūsa. And samasarveśu bhūteśu, samasarveśu bhūteśu, equally seeing all living entities. Pandita samadarśyam, that which was brahma bhuta means he is not a scholar. Aham Brahmasmi is self-realized. Therefore, he has no such distinction that give protection to the human being and send the poor animals to the slaughterhouse. Equality. What do you call it? What is the poor animals have done that you are sending them to the slaughterhouse? Is there civilization? This ravish civilization maintaining hundreds and thousands of slaughterhouse? Oh. So, Simply speaking, uh, love, fraternity, where is your fraternity? Where is your love? This cannot be possible. This may be big talks only, but to be understood by the nonsense. Unless you become Brahma Bhūta, self-realized, Krishna conscious, God conscious, these things are only stories. It is not possible. This is the description in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhūta Prasannātmā, na sochati na kāntati. Sama sarveshu bhūte, madhava tīravate parā, then he becomes a devotee. To become devotee is not so easy thing. Uh, 
not so easy thing. Uh, people think that devotion is a sentiment. No, it is not sentiment, it is a great science. It is a great science to become fully satisfied. Uh, fully satisfied, as like Krishna says, Bhokaram Jagatavasam Sarva Loka Maheshwaram Sridam Sarva Bhutanam Jnata Mang Shanti Vichyati. This is the process of Shanti. Uh, Bhokaram, Krishna is the enjoyer. We are after worshiping Krishna. That is our business. Wherever we go, we install this Krishna deity. And you are for Krishna. We print books for Krishna. We distribute books for Krishna. We beg everyone to become Krishna's bhakta. Therefore it is Krishna concept. We have no other business than Krishna. As Krishna said, Sarva Dharma Paritajya Mamitam Saranangala. We are doing that. We have no other business. Simply Krishna. Why? Krishna Sri Bhagavan Sam. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna says in the Bhagavad, Matta Parataram Nanya, Kinti Jasti Dhananya, I am the Supreme. Aham Sarva Saprabhava, Matta Sarvam Pravartati, Iti Matya Bhadante Vana, Buddha Bhava Samadhi. Only the learned scholar can worship Krishna. Only the learned scholar, self-realized soul, can understand Bhagavad Gita. Not by the politicians or the so-called scholar. No, it is not possible. Therefore, Krishna consciousness movement is very important movement. We are to the sober class, bhiro, not the adhiro. We also accepting bhiro and abhiro by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of the Goswami, dhira, dhira, dhira and adhira. Just like these boys and girls, they were adhira. Now they are dhira. Adhira. Adhira means without any responsibility, doing all nonsense. Actually, they are rich men, rich nations, sons and daughters. They are doing it. But now they have become dhira. No illicit sex. No meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. Yes, sir. This is zero. You are already intoxicated. You are already illusioned in this material world. If you still go on drinking, where is the possibility of knowledge? And you must have sober brain to understand. Huh? So this is going on. Therefore, my appeal to all the sober men, to understand this Krishna consciousness movement and join it for the benefit of his personal self, for the benefit of his country, for the benefit of the whole human society. Thank you very much.